Hi, I've made this uh, video mainly for my own, uh, uh, as a note, uh, to aid in my own memory on a fairly tricky little uh, subject that involves clicking through a lot of uh, windows and stuff uh, to do something that's fairly basic. And the problem, the root of the problem is uh, based on uh, my studies with Maxwell Render with Joe Alter's shave and a haircut in a Maya environment. And the problem that arose for me was mapping textures onto hair that you've made in uh, uh, Joe Walter uh, in Maya. And uh, the problem came with the, the whole matter of UV mapping. And uh, here's a texture, it's a checkerboard texture that I've placed on some uh, Joe Walter hair. And uh, you can see here it's mapped along the hair longitudinally. But that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was for the uh, texture of the checkerboard to be mapped over the entire area of the hair. So uh, th that has to do with the way that you create the hair texture. So if, to start out with, we have to look at, uh, make sure that we've got everything all loaded up here. And let's just see here, uh, let's look at our, we're using uh, uh, Maxwell Render, so we'll choose Maxwell Render. And if you don't, ha if you, if you don't have it there, check here and uh, settings preference plugin manager and uh, uh if you, here's maxwell it's loaded make sure that's checked and also make sure that the shave node is loaded so it looks like we're ready to go here with uh maxwell render so and uh with joel just so let's start by creating uh a polygon primitive here we'll make a plane and uh make sure that's shaded Bring it up a bit. Actually, we'll just turn off the uh, grid here. We don't need that. And we'll use our shave node here to create new hair. And we'll just do a default hair on that. Okay, now that's created a node. And uh, that node is shave hair shape 1. And if we go to window here and uh, our outliner, we'll also see that we have that shave hair 1 and the shape 1 there. That's, that's our node. We can select it through that node. And so... Uh, and then we go into the attribute editor, and here we see the shave hair shape one. And here's all the attributes, the hair count, hair segments. We can make the hair more curvilinear by adding more segments. We can make the hair thicker by adding the hair count. And uh, we can also uh, make the roots more slender. This It's pretty thick the way I had it there. We'll, we'll make the roots down to 300, say, tip thickness is zero. So this is, goes to right, right to a sharp point. And as we go down the attributes here, we find there's a Maxwell render node down here. And there's our choice of material. But we haven't made a material yet, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to make a material uh, that we can put on this. So here we brought up the Maxwell material editor. And uh, we're going to uh, add a layer. And then here we have a, B a BSDF. And uh, so here's our, where we're going to make our put our color maps. All right, so I clicked on this uh, reflectance zero to get the color map. I clicked on this file, and here I am in through going through Explorer, and here's the texture of the grid that I want to put on there. And uh, we'll do the same thing with this one, though it's not really important, but we can do that also with this one. And then we select that again. Now, when we look at these, we'll go back to the main one here, which is zero. Uh, reflectance here. We see here there's a projection properties and this is how we're going to project a UV map onto the hair and this one has, says channel 0 and that's important because it can be channel 0, channel 1, channel 2 it's a, it accommodates a lot of channels here but mainly we're dealing with channel 0 and channel 1 so initially we'll try channel 0 and channel 0 will map this checkerboard pattern longitudinally on the hair Now I've already created these nodes, the, the, I've already created these shaders in uh, uh, Maxwell, so we'll just go looking for it. And uh, we click that, we click on the select material, and this takes us to uh, the attribute editor, edit, attribute editor Maxwell Layer Material 1, and we'll import the shader that I want. And that's going to be Hair Map UV1. 
and uh, I should be actually watching it should be UV zero because I've chosen UV uh, channel zero for this one. All right, and so uh, okay, so I've mapped that on now. Is, is that hair uh, map UV one uh, B is mapped onto her hair? So uh, we'll just make sure you can see the hair uh, here. Uh, and we will render that in uh, Maxwell. So you can see here, uh, because we're using channel zero to map onto the hair, once again, the map of the checkerboard is being mapped longitudinally on the hair, which is not really what we want here. So we're going to have to go and uh, change the way we're mapping. Okay, so... Um, what I've done here, all right, so what I've done here is I've created a second uh, texture. And this one's just the same as the first one with this same uh, hair map of this checkerboard, but this time we changed it from channel zero to channel one. And I've done it on both reflectance at zero degrees and reflectance at 90 degrees. That's, that's channel one too. So we'll see what's going to happen here as we uh, remap this and uh, so it'll just shave that's selected and we'll just uh, update textures to get the hair back and um, what we're going to do here then is we're go uh, we've got this uh, hair selected instead of hair map UV1B we're going to go and get uh, uh, import hair map UV1C which is using channel 1 so we'll do that and we'll see how that renders out. Okay, the rendering's taking place here, and you can see we haven't really changed anything. Even though I've changed the channel, we're still mapping longitudinally on the hair, which is really, this is a stumbling block for me, and you know, I had to do a lot of searching to figure out how to map this, pro how to do this properly, because it's a couple little tricks, right? So we're gonna go look at the tricks here. Okay, so here we are back with the attribute editor, and we're looking at this hair map UV1C that's set to channel 1, I think, but apparently not. If we go here, just like we saw uh, over here uh, in reflectance channel 0 and reflectance channel 90 degrees, here they are here. This is exactly the same nodes, or sort of the same, and if we click this, we go to that and we see their uh, uh, Maxwell image controls and here we have UV channel but oh it's not set to UV channel 1 it's a still set to UV channel 0 so let's set this to 1 okay and um, this sort of gets stinkier too now I want to go and sh uh, select the other the 90 degree one that we created so shave, shave hair's shape is, is not like we're gonna select it now that's selected and updated it and uh, here we're back at that uh, with the, that uh, hair node and uh, here we'll go there again and now here we are with that hair this is our texture and we're gonna change reflectance 92 so we'll check click there and see that one here is also still zero and not one so we'll change that to one okay now we'll see how that renders out And what do you know? There it is. That's what we wanted. We're getting the checkerboard pattern the way we wanted to. And it's, it's not as simple as I'd hoped it would be. It, it, it took some uh, real uh, playing around with the controls. It's, it's way more difficult than it has to be, I think. I wasted a lot of time trying to you know, figure out this problem. It ended up being kind of stupid simple, but... Uh, in the end, I finally got it, and hopefully, if you're having the same hurdle to jump over and it's vexing you, I hope I saved you some trouble that I had to waste my time on. So, uh, good luck with that, and uh, 